Hi guys, I'm Jamie Chadwick and this is my Helmet Rundown. So this is actually my newest helmet, it's my 2021 W Series helmet which yeah, was new for this season, um, I actually kept the same helmet for the whole year so it's had a bit of a hard life. Yeah, it's one of those helmets that I was quite happy to keep for the whole year, I didn't want to change. The helmet was painted and designed by the same guy that's done done all my helmets, a guy called Joe Tanner from Rennet Designed. Uh, it's kind of an evolution on the design I've kind of used throughout my career, uh, but this is the first time I actually used full mats, which I really like to be honest, it's a little bit more yeah, understated I would say, a little bit less glossy but yeah I like the colours and I quite like the matte finish. For most of my career I've had the blue and the pink um, in, in my helmet but this is the first time that I've had like this fluoro green and that actually came from I think it's Brendan Hartley and one of his Red Bull helmets has a green and I saw it and I thought that's quite nice, I'm going to steal that. So I use Stilo helmets, um, I'm really lucky I've got a great relationship with them, uh, they really look after me um, and yeah I just really like their helmets. So when getting fitted out they basically just measure the kind of dimensions of your head it's fairly straightforward but then I can always have that as, uh, as my helmet and I know each time it arrives through the door I can get a, a comfortable fit yeah so this design is yeah an adaptation on what I've kind of used over the last few years the main sort of feature of it I guess is you can kind of see there's a JC that's kind of featured in it and that's kind of been in my helmets for the last few years I guess when I first got my first paint job I didn't really see the significance of you know having a design that, that meant that much to me as I've kind of got older I've enjoyed evolving the designs to something that I I like more and it's quite often especially when you're part of teams the one personal item you still have so yeah I love being able to kind of design design my own helmet now I'm thinking this about next year what, what do I go for and to be honest I don't know um, I do just really like the simple design and I quite like this to be honest I think I will do something different I run the risk, and I hope my painter watches this so I can call him out on it, I run the risk of giving him too much artistic license and him getting carried away and I get something that I don't like. So whatever I do, I'm going to have to be quite, um, you know, strict on what, what I choose. So this is my Extreme E helmet. So this is my first actually ever open face helmet that I use for Extreme E and yeah, off-road off -road racing. So it's got, yeah, the intercom, you know, that you need um, to speak to your co-driver, not necessarily an Extreme E. But yeah, it's, it's actually actually one of my favourite helmets to be honest. So actually I got this helmet painted before I got my other helmet painted. So you can see the design is fairly similar, you kept the JC sort of feature that I had in the other one. The same colours but this is gloss and I do really like this helmet, it's got this really nice glittery gloss. I also managed to get a few more kind of um, details on it. So it's got the number 5 um, and Viva Veloce on the top which is a nice little detail because obviously I'm part of their team in, in Extreme E. So yeah, it's a very different helmet, it's not got, I uh, might not have shown it, but the other helmet has white padding on the inside, this has just black padding. So it's just got the championship sponsors on it, so Extreme E, Continental, Grid Play, which you can vote for us when the next Extreme E race is, and then obviously Veloce. So it's got a little bit more about it, the W Series helmet, we were limited, we couldn't have anything on it, so it's a little bit more plain, but yeah, I think it's really nice. I, I really like the design, I like how he's done it. Uh, it's got a bit more about it, like I said. And this is the first helmet that I got the green on, and that's what inspired me to keep the green as a as a regular feature in my helmets. It's nice to have that that number five on there, and five's actually my favorite number, so for those that don't know, I'm number 55. So five's always been my favorite number, but then I, maybe five was taken or in go-karts I think the top 15 um, those that you know go-karting um, for the top 15 in the UK and unfortunately I never got to fifth place in the UK so I had to settle for 55. Yeah you definitely feel a bit less claustrophobic and um, yeah you've got more airflow and what have you to, to your face and I really like it. I never had worn an open face helmet prior to well the start of this year or the end of last year and I loved it. I didn't want to wear any other helmets. So um, yeah, I absolutely love it. I would quite like to yeah, use this in, in all forms of motorsport, but obviously can't. So um, yeah, it's, it's super cool and it's cool as well because when you watch the onboards in, in rallying or in Extreme E, you can really see the driver's emotion, which you can't necessarily see in, in formula racing. I think for sentimental reasons, the W Series helmet I like, but for just pure design and kind of my favorite helmet, I would say this one. So there you have it, that is my helmet rundown. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please subscribe to the Live Fast channel.